Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a simple mining rig with two uh, video cards. Without further ado, let's get into it. For those of you who don't know, uh, mining, or more precisely cryptocurrency mining, is a uh, very important component to maintain and develop the blockchain, uh, where the blockchain is a particular type of uh, uh, database, which is at the core of uh, cryptocurrency today. Um, the way you perform crypto mining is uh, using uh, some uh, uh, complex algorithm which run into a typical machine so into your desktop computer or laptop for instance um, so a mining machine it's nothing more than a simple computer uh, with a powerful uh, video card or cpus um, so basically if you have uh, for example a computer which uh, is idling and uh, uh, for example, you don't use it at night, you could uh, install a software um, which you can get from the mining platform or the mining pool uh, provider and uh, it will basically use the CPU and or the GPU, both together can be as well, uh, to, to run this specific type of algorithm and to work for the uh, blockchain system. So, what you get in change of this job it's a uh, reward into cryptocurrency that means you get paid into for example bitcoin or ethereum sometimes there are also other type of uh, uh, cryptocurrencies but you get the idea once you get uh, the reward you can then change it into any typical forex like usd euro and pounds whatever and uh, then you can cash it in so it's basically a way you can earn a real money. Now, uh, as I said, the crypto miner is nothing more than a simple computer. However, in the computer you will need to have a, a decent uh, amount of uh, CPU and GPU power. Um, CPU, I'll leave it apart because um, you can actually mine just with the with the GPU. So then it's up to you uh, what kind of uh, uh, currency you want to mine, and uh, therefore uh, which part of your hardware is good to use for it. Um, for instance, in my case, I have a mining uh, rig, which is a specifically designed computer, which is, which works only for that. And then I have my production computer, which has. Uh, a powerful, powerful CPU and GPU which are also running at night when I'm not working with a computer and they are both uh, mining two different type of cryptocurrencies so I'm earning from the two different type of sources now this is the rig that I'm going to show you how to build uh, bear in mind that this rig has already been upgraded and implemented a couple of times uh, from the day I've uh, shot the videos um, also, I apologize for the quality of the videos, which uh, was taken through a smartphone uh, like six, seven months ago, and uh, it's sat on my computer doing nothing. Uh, so, but I hope it will uh, render you the, the idea. In this demonstration, I'm going to build uh, a mining rig with uh, two RTX 2060, six gigabytes and um, Biostar TBC250, which is a specifically uh, designed mining uh, motherboard. Um, so, uh, when you are planning on building a mining rig, uh, uh, you should consider that uh, the overall cost of the mining rig can be split into two uh, parts. Your actual mining hardware, which is uh, usually the most expensive one, uh, which can be uh, CPU or uh, GPUs, more likely GPUs, and uh, your hoisting system, which is actually the entire computer without the mining hardware. So that will basically comprise your PSU, your motherboard, your RAM, your CPU, and your SSD as minimum. Okay, so um, a 
a particular note when uh, um, planning on assembling a mining rig is that it is best to use specifically designed motherboards which have uh, multiple PCIe slots so that you can basically put as many uh, GPUs as possible. Before getting into the assembly, let's quickly go through the part list. So we got uh, Biostar TB250 mining board with six PCIe. Then uh, we got the Celeron G3900 CPU, A data, eight gigabytes RAM, Ike Vision, 128 gigabytes SSD, two RTX 2060, six gigabytes GPUs, a whopping 1200 watt Cobra power with all the cabling we may need. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any riser, neither um, chassis, but I'll try tomorrow to find something. And there it's all. Everything is ready. We got all the cables from the PCU. That's a beautiful PCU. We got our GPUs. And we are ready to go. Okay, once it's everything open, I'll lay everything on a bench or on a table. I'll take a couple of small screwdrivers that you might need for the assembly. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, if you have a chassis or a, a tower case, to place the motherboard and to fix it to the chassis so that you have a steady place to work. Uh, then, as per the components, I would suggest you uh, to start uh, uh, with the CPU. Um, so you will uh, uh, first connect the CPU itself and then the heat sink with the fan on top of it. Um, this may vary depending on the type of uh, CPU that you have, the maker like Intel or AMD and so on. Um, then you can go ahead and uh, plug in the um, RAM in the appropriate slot. Then you want to uh, plug in your GPUs. Um, you can plug them in directly into the PCIe slots if they accept the CPU, the GPU, sorry, or uh, you can uh, uh, use a riser uh, so that uh, you can uh, um, basically install the GPU in another, in another location so you're not constrained to the small space of the motherboard. Um, after that, uh, you can connect your storage device, SSD or HDD, and then uh, you have to be, you have to carefully connect all of the power supply cable coming from the PSU unit. Okay, once you are done with the uh, assembly, uh, I would suggest you to uh, power everything up and to um, check that everything works fine so um, at first start up since you don't have an operative system uh, the only thing that will show up on your uh, display will be the UEFI which is basically the new version of BIOS and um, I would suggest you to go around the settings and to uh, just ensure yourself that all of the component that you installed into the motherboard are actually there they are correctly read uh, then the other thing that I would suggest you to do is to set up all of your PCIe slots to uh, PCIe 1. And that's because for the purpose of mining, uh, it will be more than enough. Um, I would also recommend you uh, to go uh, and to search on the internet uh, the model of your motherboard and to see uh, what kind of uh, settings are best for the motherboard itself and also for the use that you are intending to, to use them. Um, once, that, uh, once that is all done, uh, you can then go ahead with the installation of your hoisting operative system. Um, now, the operative system that you are going to choose uh, will affect um, the way you are going to work with your mining rig. Uh, and that's primarily because uh, if you choose any Linux-based operative system, 
um, you will basically give up to all the softwares and functionalities that you will get with uh, a Windows operating system. But on the other hand, uh, that's all depending also on the budget that you have. So if you have a little bit of extra cash, you can go with Windows, you will buy a license. Um, otherwise, you will stick to a Linux-based operating system. Um, so in my case, uh, I knew uh, beforehand that I could run a nice ash os which is the operative system designed by nice ash into the linux operative system so i had no problem uh, to install that but as you will find out later on when you want to optimize your mining profitability and therefore you will need to start overclocking your uh, cpu and gpus uh, you will realize that uh, you lack support in that regard meaning that uh, the softwares, for example, MSI Afterburner, which is one of the most popular overclocking softwares, uh, will not be supported uh, in uh, uh, Ubuntu or a Linux-based operating system. Uh, there are some workaround to that, but we'll, this is uh, uh, a subject for another topic. So, uh, the installation of Ubuntu is very simple. Uh, you can just Google Ubuntu, uh, you can choose the version you like. Um, so what you want to do, you want to uh, download the, the imaging software. Um, yeah, here you can basically uh, put all you need. But anyway, this is the downloading part. So you give it save us. Um, yeah, under software, that's the image software. Uh, it's going to be an uh, .iso. Uh, software extension okay once the image file has been downloaded uh, you will need another piece of software um, that's gonna be an imaging software that means um, it's a software that will create um, a bootable uh, USB drive or uh, you can also do it with a memory stick if you'd like um, so the one that I normally use it's uh, called the Rufus I'll put the link in the description below where you can download it. And I will suggest you to download the uh, portable fi file um, so that you can basically just run it without having to install. Then uh, once you're done with that, just launch Rufus, okay? Uh, it will uh, uh, ask you to select the device from the drop down uh, obviously i have only one memory stick right now inside uh, then which section you want to boot and it will also ask you to uh, select the file so that's the file we just downloaded and then when we are ready we can give it a start leave everything in default once uh, the um, bootable drive is ready you will need to uh, insert it into the machine to boot it up once again and to access the UEFI uh, and to do that you you will need to use some of the function keys of your keyboard or uh, some combination of keys um, now for the motherboard that I'm uh, uh, having for the rig I just need to click F9 few times during boot up and then will uh, give me access to the UEFI once you are on the UEFI, just select which um, storage you want to use for boot up. So you will need to select your uh, uh, external storage device where the image file has been uh, uh, burned in. There we go, guys. We finally made it. We finally got the, the entire rig arranged on a tray everything spins once you are done with the installation of the operating system and everything is up running you can start thinking about um, downloading niceash os uh, to do so you will need to have an account into niceash.com and over to the dashboard or actually in any one of the pages you will be uh, go all the way down to the footer, you will see this download and download center. This will open up a new tab, and here you can find all of the version of uh, of, of software that they offer. So if you had to install 
windows into your mining rig then you could use uh, the nice ash miner um, otherwise there is also a quick miner right now uh, but in our case we are going to install the operative system so this is the nice ash flash tool that's what you want to install just download the flash tool over here to the download select the version and once uh, it's ready you can uh, open it up so you will find this uh, simple to use similar to Rufus you will need to select your storage media uh, the most important part now here is that we will need to set up uh, we will need to uh, include our Bitcoin address and to do that you will need to go back to your account uh, go under mining you will see this mining address click on it you will see your mining address here and then say copy then go back to the flash tool and control V or command V depending on your system so and then you can say flush so what that will do will basically burning the so the operative system directly into the um, USB drive once you're done with that the same way you did uh, previously uh, with the operative system you will need to reboot your uh, mining rig uh, to click the function key which enab will enable you to access the BIOS or the UEFI and to select the uh, drive from which you want the system to boot up once you select the system once you select the uh, flash drive that you've been booting uh, then you are basically good to go it will initialize and do all a sequence of uh, testing and when you log back in into your nice ash or has account you will basically see that it will be uh, first it will be benchmarking because it will try to test uh, your hardware and uh, the best algorithm working with your hardware trying to fine-tune everything and after that they will basically start mining and you will uh, essentially start earning money all right and we are up running earning money with our computer with our mining rig uh, as you can see uh, it is uh, like building a regular a typical desktop computer so if you have had already experiences with the uh, building computer there shouldn't be uh, that much of a difference for you uh, however if you haven't ever built one uh, this is actually um, also going to be a good experience uh, for you to know uh, how to build a, a computer um, so uh, just before to close I want to tell you um, I highly recommend you to uh, go and purchase a specifically designed uh, mining, uh, mining uh, motherboard uh, as well as a uh, few risers so that uh, um, you can implement upgrade your mining rig with additional cards in the future as I did with my rig and um, the other thing is that yes of course you can start with a single uh, GPU if you are on a budget and then uh, as you start seeing uh, uh, money, money flowing in uh, you can uh, go and buy um, other GPUs uh, what I also would suggest uh, you to do is to use eBay uh, you can bid uh, and grab uh, GPUs at uh, a much better price than your regular uh, tech shop um, unfortunately right now the prices are blooming and uh, um, I, I can see for example with my uh, RTX 2060 that um, I purchased at about uh, uh, 500 euros uh, back in uh, January and uh, now it is sold for about 700 euros so, so that's uh, 200 euro increased in uh, a little over uh, six months and uh, uh, the future will will show exponential increase in the prices so if you're planning to do um, some uh, investment in this uh, field I would suggest you to, to don't lose any time just to you know just to evaluate properly how is the market and, uh, and to go for it as soon as possible without wasting any time okay 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comment, leave them below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now.